everyone. <laughs> I'm just surprised though. I just said, we're about to do a video. Uh, hence the look. No um, yeah, basically, Mel is here. Woo! I've missed her so much because she's been looking after um, our other sister. Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so she's finally here and she's going to do hoovering. Ooh, and she's already cleaned the kitchen. <laughs> You are gonna. <laughs> she is gonna be Hoover, it's fine. Um, but. I we were going out. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we'll do that in a minute. <laughs> but. We're saying. Yes! We are going out do, 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 to Tesco's because um, we need to get some food in and stuff because the rest of our family is coming for tea. And. Um, uh, yeah, I need to get some stuff and I need to make a list because I'm not very good at remembering things, obviously. Uh, <laughs> As you've noticed in this video. <laughs> no, no. Oh God. <laughs> but we thought, or rather I thought, and then she just agreed, oh, randomly, <laughs> that um, the, it would be a good idea to sort of film the process of going out because it's not like normal people going out because normal people just sort of shut the door and go. But um, it takes a lot longer because obviously you have to put the wheelchair in the car and remember things and all that kind of thing. So we thought we'd do a video of that. Awesome. Okay, bye! Uh, so, the first thing I need to do is put my blanket on, which sounds crazy because it's a really beautiful sunny day, but um, I've got this new symptom, would you believe? Another one, called, which I'm calling ice hip, because basically, if my hip or thigh gets cold, particularly this one, um, it uh, blooming hurts, I tell you. <laughs> It's so painful and it goes so cold and then I can't do anything. So that is my first thing to do is to sort of put that on. I've wrapped it around like a fluffy sarong, which isn't ideal, but anyway. Um, <laughs> and then I use my arm cushion in the car. I use this as a neck cushion now because then I use it as an arm cushion when I'm in the wheelchair. Um, and then I need to fill up my water and get my handbag and then we're ready to go. Awesome. Hello, um, Esther wanted me to show you how to get the wheelchair into the boot of the car. It's pretty simple, um, I've been doing it for five years so I'm getting used to it now. Um, so this one is uh, really straightforward, I don't bother taking the plates off, um, the foot plates, uh, but it depends what your wheelchair is like and um, whether you can fit it into your boot. Mine's quite a tight squeeze but it just fits in so I'm very glad about that. <laughs> so basically all I do is um, push up the seat bit here like that, which then brings all the wheelchair in together. And I push the seat down just to keep it all neat and tidy and compact. Um, and then at the back, there's just two clips, which then bring the uh, handles down. This one is, is always a little bit trickier than the other, but just a little bit of extra leverage, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, and then I just bend my knees very important to do that um, because you don't want to hurt your back or anything um, and then make sure you don't drop it on your foot it's very very painful okay so um, and then just pop it into the boot being careful to put the wheels in first and at a slight angle and then just push it up like that and then just close the boot so that's basically it now we're ready okay, to go so we finally managed to get in the car uh, we took a bit longer doing it because um, I forgot my blue badge and there was one point, this is the first time I've really been out since um, sort of being poorly again since Christmas and um, I got in the car, scraped my arm and then looked oh, back so and was like, ah, the door's wide open and I've got the keys. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like a day in the life of. <laughs> um, so yeah <laughs> so the person who drives you has to be really patient thankfully she is and i've remembered my coat and then oh yeah wheelchair cushion as well oh that's wheelchair really cushion we always forget that yeah <laughs> uh so <laughs> that's good um yeah i'm actually gonna use melody's car is really comfortable for me whereas our car isn't um so i normally use this as padding in our car but i don't actually use it in hers because it's just nice so, uh, we're off. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, look, we're doing a little bit of filming. Go! Oh! <laughs> oh, and I slightly recline as well because sitting up um, is using muscles that I need for when we go in the wheelchair. This is so. 
so cool. <laughs> uh, so we've arrived. Woo. Um, and uh, I, I did actually find, I think probably because I thought I was stronger than I am, and I'm actually not. Uh, so I did actually find that I had this as my support. Um, if you, if I normally put my feet up like that, um, it just seems to sort of balance everything out. And obviously, because I'm way more reclined than I would be normally, um, what you have to do by law, kind of thing, is have this down to this lowest point. Oh, really? Yeah. If you can, if they can do it in a car, I couldn't actually do it with yours. So. Oh. No, no. So if 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 the car has a thing to put the seatbelt lower, then by law you have to do it. If you can't, then obviously by law stuff it because <laughs> it's not made to do it but basically it's the thing that you've got the protection lower because obviously you are lower because like normally you'd be up there uh if that makes sense hopefully it does um we're gonna probably not film in there but my my sort of what's the time please oh, oh there's, a, there's a tip <laughs> <laughs> always, always look at the time before you switch the engine. Okay, it's not 11.45, it's 12.45. Oh, okay. I haven't put it <laughs> Okay. So, um, yeah, so we won't be filming in there, because obviously that's just a bit interesting. Uh, but uh, I basically, rather than having a trolley, because they're either too small or they're just really difficult, um, I usually, usually just use my lap as a trolley. But that's not necessarily a tip, because it... It might not work for you. But it's very handy. It is. You don't have to have bags or baskets yeah. or something. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, and then we'll show you the process of like getting out. Oh, come on. Uh, so I've got in. Ow. Really hurt my hand doing it because again, um, I, I keep on thinking that I'm actually weller than I am. <laughs> uh, so um, I had to use my hand to kind of pull myself out of the car. But now I'm in and I've all tucked up with my blanket and stuff. And oh, I put my thing, my handbag round there like that so you kind of feel all secure and stuff and then it's just sitting there. And I get my arm cushion oh. and she's got her bottle. Oh yeah. <laughs> Always remember that or rather try to remember it. So I'm just going to see if you can see that a bit better. There we go. <laughs> We're off. <laughs> Right, hello, we finished. Um, I just thought I'd show you sort of what I do. So this is basically, it's all on my lap and everything or something. And the um, the tip is if you are gonna pack on your, uh, like any sort of either on your own or um, you want to sort of be helpful to your carer, then to put the bag on the lap and then they can put everything in because obviously your lap's gonna be stronger than having to lift a bag up and over the till bit afterwards. Um, and we'll talk more about the experience that we had in the shop, which is quite interesting, uh, soon. Okay, bye. Okay, uh, so getting into the car, woo -woo. Um, I, I put my handbag, and I generally just keep everything that I need down in the footwell. And I kind of set everything up before I get in the car, because it's the thing that once I get in, I'm gonna be twisting and stuff like that. So, she hasn't got a hook thing, so I generally just sort of, <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Splendid. It's nice and easy. Right, while Mel is putting the wheelchair away, oh, thank you. I always forget this part. My bottle of water. I'm going to close the thing because it's really cold. Um, yes, I thought I would tell you about my experience in there. So basically, I um, try and sort of get eye contact with people while I'm going around and smile at them and sort of compliment them if they're yeah, come um, if they're if they're like wearing something nice and all this kind of thing um, because don't I with like what? talking to people yes yeah it <laughs> always shop. makes an effort to <laughs> smile and engage with people and and it's the thing that the reason I do it is because obviously having work uh, so sorry about that. That cut out because basically we've done so many videos that um, my storage just went boom. Uh, <laughs> so basically, the thing I was saying was I do try and sort of interact with people because there's such a thing that people either think that 
we're just sort of like a lower level of human being and so we don't like have friends have feelings that kind of thing and so they'll they'll stare and think nothing of it and that kind of thing so particularly if somebody's staring i'll actually sort of duck and get their eye contact so i go hello <laughs> and stuff like that because firstly it's a thing that some people stare and they don't realize they're staring so it's just a sort of good to sort of snap them out of it and kind of go i am a human you can talk to me you can ask me why i'm in a wheelchair if that's what you're wondering um uh, and then other people who are staring and they're not staring very nicely, they can kind of be, um, it kind of creeps me out slightly because it's like, they either look at you like, hmm, or they look at you sort of, why, why are they in a wheelchair? Or even worse, which is, get out of my way, you're a waste of space. <laughs> That's how some people look at me and my husband doesn't like that, but um, obviously, um, so, but even with those people, I try and sort of get eye contact and sort of say hello. And like, obviously I won't be false, but if there is something nice that like they're wearing or whatever, I'd be like, oh, by the way, that color really suits you. And you know, it's just sort of brightening up people's day. And I, I sort of reach out from the wheelchair to people, but oh my goodness, it backfired completely today because uh, Melody and I were looking at these two different milkshakes and sort of doing a comparison with like the calories and stuff. And this lady overheard us and she came and kind of like started talking to us about how it was much healthier to drink water. And I was like, I always drink water. I love it so much. And so it's just a treat to have a milkshake. Um, and then she started like telling us all about her gut and stuff. And it was just like, oh my goodness, maybe I'm being too sort of welcoming with people. And also she didn't bend down because a lot of people think it's um, rude to bend down so they don't bother and and so I was looking up like this and I had all the shopping and she just carried on talking I was like oh and then also at one of the um kiosk desk places at the pharmacy um the n the lady there wasn't very helpful about sort of getting the uh, pin number thing down for me so I could actually reach it and I do find that some people they either don't know that it actually is able to do that which shows bad training uh, <laughs> or um, they don't bother, which is a bit rude. So if, if, if I'm treated badly, I'll sort of go, oh, wow, that's not very good, uh, and stuff, and just sort of comment on it. And so if somebody goes, you know, she actually said, oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that, which is like, that's fine, then I for forgave her. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, hopefully more people will do that. I would love to encourage more people in wheelchairs to actually sort of interact with the public because sometimes we're just so tired and we're just like, oh, let's just get the shopping and go home. But it's just like, well, it's feeding into the idea that people in wheelchairs don't have social skills and all that kind of thing. I think that's wrong. So that's what I try to do anyway. And sometimes it backfires and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so anyway, uh, lots of love and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye.